Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft Season 5 server. Look at this place. It is an absolute disgrace. <laughs> Loads of random chests and shulker boxes that need to be sorted out. Lying around. It is, it is awful, I know. But we're here to pick up some materials. We're going to do some building today. And today is in fact the day of the Hermitcraft live stream, which you would have seen announced in the last episode. So I'm going to be streaming in between recording. And of course, I'll show you what exactly I get up to. We're going to be working on Boat Bros again during the stream. And also we're going to be doing a little bit of Redstone for False, which I'm looking forward to. I've got to figure out exactly what it is she needs. But... I like to flex my redstone muscles from time to time. Right now, though, I'm gathering up some of the materials that we're going to use in our spider farm. I haven't really thought about this too much. I actually got a tweet from someone. I really like the ideas that they sent me, some inspiration for this build. And so I'm picking up all of our dark blocks. We'll probably end up using red glass as well. And I'm getting in lots of nether brick. I think nether brick and stone bricks are going to be the main blocks of this. Uh, however... There are some other materials we could use as well, like red wool and red concrete powder. Yeah, some red going in there as well. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? So let's grab those materials out. And also, I'm going to be going away on a skiing vacation at the beginning of the next year. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, however, I will be pre-recording some episodes for you while I'm away. So I thought I'd do a Q&A episode where I don't know what exactly I'm going to get up to, but I'm just going to be talking, basically. Do a quick episode where I answer your questions. So if you do have any questions, then leave them in the comments down below with hashtag Q&A. Put in your question. I'm going to pick out my favorites. I'm looking for some interesting ones. And then I'll be replying to those in an episode that will come out next year. So if you're interested, you know what to do. Go down to the comments, hashtag Q&A. Leave your question down there, and I'll be answering them next year. It sounds like it's a long way away, doesn't it, peeps? But remember, we're halfway through December, so it won't be long till it's 2018. So I'm here to pick up some dark prismarine. I'm going to put this next to netherrack, and you're probably going to go, ooh. Um, yeah, but cave spiders are slightly sort of dark cyan green, right? And so I wanted to throw that colour in there somehow. And I thought those two together, they're actually kind of interesting. So I thought I'd come over here and pinch some of these. I know Python isn't going to be on the server for a few days. So that's fine. He's at Yogscast headquarters at the moment doing a live stream. Well, he will be later on in the day. And yeah, and then on my stream, if I need some dark prismarine, I'll fly over to Mumbo's and I'll craft it. In fact, I feel like doing a little bit of flying right now. You know, I don't mind going through the nether, but it never actually seems faster than flying. Maybe flying is just a little bit more interesting. In fact, there's there's something I'm kind of curious in, you know. Maybe flying's faster than walking through the nether. Alright, spider farm time. I have moved the nether portal over here. It has synced up, which is fantastic. No issues there. It was right up against this farm. And, of course, this is our little standing platform, so I want to be able to see all of the spawners, right? So we're going to have these little windows, and I'll probably reposition them a little bit, and then we're going to build the room around that. Now, I was a little bit worried about having to tear down all the walls and replace them with, you know, black concrete powder or something like that. I'm pretty sure I brought some of that stuff with me, right? Oh, we've got a little lag spike here. I say a little one, that's a big one. And now my game's not responding. Yes, here it is. Okay, so I brought loads of this stuff with me. Excellent. Um, but we'll probably just put it around the entrance here, because when you look in, you can barely make anything out, and it's not really worth it, in my opinion, considering this is just a place to stand AFK. So we want to be able to see the spawners. This one over here, you can see, is a little bit brighter. That might be because there's a torch near it. But I think the blocks directly above it will get replaced. And then we just build up the room around that principle, I guess, and try and incorporate those materials that I've shown you. Oh, and down the bottom here, you can see there's loads of string everywhere. I'm not sure if I showed this in the last video, but I actually changed this thing so that it's got two lines now, because the string would actually drop in this space where those stone bricks are. Ouch, and now I've been poisoned. Um, so there's actually hoppers at either end as well, so it can unload at both ends. But as you can see here, full to the brim with string. So another thing I need to do is create an item storage system. We want to automatically move all of our string from the farms to one location. Oh, that's good. My, my volume is actually turned down. I thought I've been recording in this area for a while, and the sound of spiders, man. 
it's kind of crazy in here. So I've added some like frames for the windows. We got all of them. You can again see everything from right here. And then I've been opening up the room and thinking about where things are going to go. We're going to have a path from the portal to the AFK point. Then we're going to have some stairs that go down the side and down here leading you to the killing platform. And then I'm trying to figure out where all of the redstone -y stuff goes, which I think is what we need to do first. We need to get that out of the way. So down there at the very bottom, there is bedrock underneath that chest, which could be a bit of a problem as we want to move the items from it using a hopper. Although I'll probably take the hopper chain next to the cactuses and put that straight into a dropper elevator. So some items are going to come across here and they're going to come up somewhere around here and then they've got to meet up with the items from this chest and the items from this chest as well and it's going to be pretty much a redstone headache for me unfortunately I've got to be careful here and keep things lit up it's just kind of occurred to me that I'm going around wiping out loads of blocks and not exactly keeping the place lit this is no mushroom island uh, anyway that is a very good sign right that is our item elevator that will bring everything up to here where we'll have a row of chests and hoppers we drop down below, uh, this is probably the most important point right here. We're taking the items from that chest, bringing them down to this level with that one right there, and then the hoppers meet and they go over here. Uh, also, this hopper chain runs through another item elevator from down the very bottom here, and I've dropped into the wrong place, haven't I? And now I've broken my ladder to escape from this place. Uh, it's not connected up yet, though, because we've got oodles of string in all the different places, and it's been filling up my inventory while I've been working on this project as well. So next thing we need to do is get our hoppers and storage in place. Problem is, I've run out of hoppers, so I'm going to have to chop down some trees and craft some more. What a cracking start to this episode. We've come over here, we've powered through things and all of it's set up now. Uh, these chests are slowly filling up with string, which is fantastic. But we're going to take a break from this project and then come back and finish all of the aesthetics later on. I think it's nice to break up the flow of an episode, you know. And I've got other things that need taken care of on the server. So last episode we worked on Boat Bros, and I don't want to bore you with back-to-back -back the same project, but we will do a little bit of building here, and then back over to the spider farm. We've also got a little bit of some redstone -y stuff with false to show you. Basically this is what I did during the live stream, so I'm going to give you a little recap. If you want to check out the whole live stream, uh, head over to the second channel, and I'd highly encourage that you subscribe to the second channel for a Christmas treat that I'm going to be releasing on the 23rd or 22nd of December. I've got a music video that was a lot of fun to record and make that I'm going to be sharing with all of you and I want you to enjoy it. So uh, there'll be a link to the second channel in the description box like always. Now as we fly around here you can see that I've taken the original Boat Bros roof, I've lowered it down and built it in this second section over here and it looks absolutely amazing. But we are left with two jobs. One is to tidy up this side of the build which doesn't require much there. Maybe a little bit more over on this side and then to give it a front in this corner. Right, so we've done the roof, we're just doing the sides now, and then that's all of our section done. I will release, I will leave the, less, the rest to pipe it. I can't talk all of a sudden. It's because I've been live streaming for a couple of hours. And i got to say, the view here is really nice, the way that we've sort of filled up the view line. Like, you can't see anything in the distance. It's all games here in the district. And I think that we should continue that philosophy moving forward. So what I might do is come up with an idea for another game and build it over in this space and start to fill up like everything around the circle here. Because I think that's what ZF was looking for. Everything sort of all in one place enclosed together. You can see we've also set up the path for an underground tunnel in the future, but I don't know if that'll actually get used or not. So anyway, the walls in question, the little bit of building we're going to do over here is just this spot. And I think what I'm going to do is fire through, build everything and show you it when it's done. And before we get to that, just want to show you a game that False is working on over here. She asked me to do some redstoning for her. So this is going to be Hungry Hungry Hermits, which is an awesome name for this game. And it's going to be a fishing game where you have to collect pigs. Sound a little bit familiar to a certain game on Season 4? I think so. I think so, but no, I'm only messing around. This looks like an amazing game. There's a whole bunch of pigs above that I believe are going to get dropped into this area. And then the hermits have to catch them, which sounds fantastic. And so what False was after? was a timer that lasts exactly one minute and we have achieved that over here originally what I wanted to do was create a comparator declay 
decay clock over here but even with this many comparators it only lasts for about 20 or so seconds which means we'd have to create a crazy circuit stacking uh, this thing together and using it over and over again to count for 20 seconds so this is entirely pointless but over to the left of me there is a EFO hopper clock and what we've done is simply add a detector on the side of that comparator right there so the way this thing works is you press the button and you turn off this redstone torch which means that turns off allowing this to push across so items from this side start to go into this hopper meaning the comparator turns on and of course that'll create a T flip flop and I'll say Merry Christmas to Iskow in just a second and my inventory's full, everything's going well, yeah, it'll turn on this signal, right? So the items all flow across into this side, and then they flow back again, and it's only when they've gone all the way back, this torch would have locked that redstone there, so the clock stops, and then this comparator turns off, meaning that the uh, the whole, what's it called thing, the, the T flip-flop, uh, comes back and pulls it there. So that redstone signal will be on for an entirety of a minute, as that's what 76 blocks will count up to. This has worked out fantastically. We've got three things to do here. I want to put in some glass up the top there. On the other side I want to put in some lighting and we've got some grass over the back that needs sorting out like throwing down leaves and bushes and then we're pretty much there. I just wanted to comment on this. Uh, I like the lip like the little gap there where the water goes under, that looks really cool. And I've actually filled this in going all the way down, as you can see, all the way down to the bottom. So that is looking super clean. And over on this side, the same pattern pretty much repeated itself, as you can see just in that space right in front of my head. Be nice to be able to slow yourself down, you know, when you're doing all of this. And then over the opposite side, we've got the, the grass and the greenery, which I'm going to go and sort out right now. Don't know if you can, well, I know that you can't see it, but just up there there's a few sea lanterns hidden in that gap. And that's so the top bit is kind of illuminated at night, and it's not night, and we're done with this now. Let's just do one final flight into the sky. By the way, this corner over here being open, that's deliberate, although I did actually mention that in the last video. As soon as I said it out loud, I kind of remembered the moment where we talked about the nice view. So over here, as you can see, very luscious and green in this corner, and that's is pretty much everything done here now so we're going to fly back to the base and continue with the spider farm project first of all though looks like i've got a bunch of chests here to tidy up so welcome back to the spider farm i've done a little bit of work here just a tiny bit but want to tell you what's going on we've built a nether brick path here do you know, I was going to use nether brick on the walls, so I might end up changing that if it looks odd. But it's made out of stair blocks, which means mobs can't spawn in it. Mobs can't spawn on the carpet. And so I figured that we'd try and build this room and make it mob proof. So it can be dark around the clock, which would be absolutely awesome. Of course, we'd have a little bit of light. Jeez, those spiders are so loud. Let's walk the other way. We'll have a little bit of light in here so we can see what's going on. But that is my aim for this room now, is to make it so it can be dark and mobs can't spawn in here. Oh boy. Um, if the spider sounds were really loud a moment ago, I apologise. Forgot to turn down the volume. Wherever you go, there's hissing in here. It's kind of crazy. And you can see what I've gone for here. Oh, and as soon as I speak out loud, I realise I've kind of done this bit wrong. Well... Uh, the glass is supposed to kind of drop down a little bit like you can see here so we can see more of the netherrack and the netherrack's like this structure that the black here is sort of going through. That's a kind of weird description but I think it makes sense and I want this to be lower so that you can always walk off the edge of the nether brick kind of like you can do here right and it exposes all of this nether brick over here on the side. It's looking pretty cool. This bit here is going to be a little bit tricky to figure out though as we want to put glass over in this space and then we got the wall visible on the side, so I was starting to think that maybe what we could then do is actually have that as a visible trim. So this could come along here and meet the front of this, which is probably going to change. And then the roof could be somewhere up at this height, so you've got this like black lip going down the side. But I don't really know <laughs> how it's all going to work out. Just got to take it a block at a time, really, and, and get this thing going in the right direction. Now we've got water going everywhere. Jeez, it's knocking out some torches. And apart from that, it's not really doing too much damage. Where is this water from? What is going on up here? I, I don't think it's a, a big deal or anything. Right, there's just a cave with some water flowing through it. And a skeleton. I'm going back. I'm going back down here for a moment. <laughs> Things are coming together now really quite well. However, this lip that I just talked about changed the plans there a little bit. Had to lower this down. So now the black wall is the ceiling in this space. 
And then I've just been trying to find where the walls emerge and sort of draw them across like we've done here, right? So I'm building up all of this. It's going to go up quite high. There is now a pigman in my way as I wanted to do a little bit of building while I talk. Jeez. And do you know what? <gasps> Goodness me. I've actually done a lot more <laughs> building and talking, uh, but my microphone was muted. I don't recall muting it. It's kind of strange. I mean, if it's after a live stream, like directly after and it's muted, makes sense because I mute it at the end. But I don't like, you know, mute while I'm just here hanging out and playing, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, we're going to seal this bit off for real because obviously creepers can sneak in through here. The walls, though, are very plain at the moment, right? And what we're going to do is just get them in place so then we can see the dimensions and shape of the room and then pull out bits of it after and start to bring some patterns into here. And yeah, it's kind of looking all right. Over here, though, this bit, I want it to stretch up a little bit so the ceiling might end up being a block higher than where that door right is. Uh, you see on the other side how the, the coal blocks kind of come down. Uh, I like them to come up over on this side, so this thing sort of stretches from top to bottom. Problem here, though, is the next thing I want to do is punch out all of the torches so that the room can go dark and we can really start to sense uh, the vibe. And then this is probably just going to blend into all of this, right? The texture will be gone. So we might end up actually changing that material again. We'll see what happens. What's dark, mysterious, moody... And full of hissing. <laughs> this place. And there we go. That's the last of those blocks for that little bit. It is very dark here. We just have the dynamic light of the torch in my hand at the moment. To kind of guide us through. There's a little bit of light behind the chests. And the room is very ominous and dark. Which makes me think it's going to be tricky to figure out where to put the lighting. And I've decided I actually kind of want to keep the walls relatively plain. In fact, let's stand in here without the torch on at all. Wow, that is really spooky. And when the roof's done, it's going to be even worse because there's some light coming through from there. So I think I want to keep it nice and dark. We'll try and put a couple of lights in here and there. But what I want to do with these is actually change those over to the dark prismarine. So that's where that texture is going to come in. And then i got something to go on the wall. And I think we'll do that very last. What I want to do is get the ceiling up here finished and get this area done as well. So that mobs can't spawn, we want to use stairs at the front here. Although the light levels would probably hold them off from doing that because we're going to put some lighting back here. And I could go and throw this torch even further down there, but with a magma blo a block right there, that's, that's pretty decent. Again, I've got to now remove that. Eh, it's probably a little bit bright, actually. I'll figure out a way to get the balance there going good. But that's going to be this bit. Then we're probably going to have some stairs and uh, some slabs as well for the roof. So the roof's got a little bit of shape. Uh, also, over here, these slabs could probably be changed out, right? Please? Oh yeah, they can't come through that gap. <laughs> I thought they might come through and, and, and attack me, but as long as we're behind here, they shouldn't be able to hit me. Ah, uh, there's another thing as well. Right, let's put some glass in here. Oh no. Um, yeah, that, that was definitely a bad idea. Do you know what? I think we're going to abandon this texture for this build, because it's kind of gone in a different direction with it being all dark in here, so that's going to go back to coal blocks. I think I'm just going to make the ceiling flat black and then maybe try and find another couple of spaces to do this in. Oh, well, by the way, I put the torches further back so now it's a lot dimmer and probably quite a bit of light is coming from in there as well. So it's nice and moody down here and the rest of it really dark. So you can see we've got some lighting coming from over there. I missed the glass on top of that. Lighting over here, either side of the portal as well. And then these torches are temporary. I was counting like the width of the wall and it's an odd where I want an even so we're not going to center this next thing we're going to put it over on this side and I want our eyes to be drawn over here so I'm hoping the light from there will help us do that and I also want to say a big thank you to and snowed in Fred who on Twitter sent me a really cool room design uh, the main thing I've taken from them is the use of the nether brick in this room uh, but also in one of the pictures they sent me on the wall they built something really cool that was about this is going to be too low uh, it's about four blocks wide. So we actually only need two of the string to hold up these blocks. And you'll probably figure out what this is straight away. But it is kind of tricky to represent things with a small amount of blocks. And to do this with this many blocks to me is pretty impressive. Um, have you got what it is yet? Uh, I've actually just done those bits wrong. So what we're going to do, and I've fallen off as well. So we're going to put red powder on one side, red clay on the other, just to break it up a little bit. And that is a spider face, and that is some ugly cobblestone in the way of us observing it. 
the way it pops out like that at the moment, I had a feeling wouldn't look so good. So I think we need to recess it into the wall. And if it's going to be level with the wall, it's probably not going to pop as much as well. Mm, I'm not actually sure that's the best place to put that thing. I don't really have a lot of options for where else it should go. Uh, that won't work, unfortunately. I mean, if this were one block higher, the ceiling, it probably would. But because the bottom goes down, it doesn't quite look right to me. That's it. We're out of here, peeps. Let me show you what I settled on. You know, if I'd have tried that face a little bit earlier on, I think I could have incorporated it into this area here a little better. There are some lighting glitches up there because there are torches which are going to those bits. And although they're centered on the room, I feel like actually what I probably should have done is centered them around this bit because it looks kind of odd. But there it is, the spider face, right? And it looks kind of creepy and ominous, and this build has turned out pretty awesome, I think. I mean, everything's dark and spooky. Uh, those now have nether bricks all behind them, and I put in some uh, magma blocks. And if I do ever change my mind about something, it might be to come back here and lower the light level there a little bit, because it's kind of bright, all right? The chests pop out probably a little bit too much. But this is the spot where you stand. You can see all of the spawners, and it is looking superb let's get out of here peeps that's going to be it from me this episode of hermitcraft if you have enjoyed it then leave a like remember to do your hashtag q a question down in the comments down below also subscribe to the second channel if you want to catch my christmas musical gif thing i don't know why there's cobblestone there we'll pick that up and uh, also the hermitcraft live stream will be on the second channel for you anyway that's it from me thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye